So in Edinburgh, I'm doing two shows. I mean, uh, this, well, the rule props have got my uh, new can can thing. <laughs> yeah, so can -can I, I, don't, I, I have no law about that for myself with regards to whatever I want, I'll, props I'll get, I'll throw them away, I don't care. So there will be things. But the other show I'm doing at the Hives, uh, Firewall Schools, is a camera based thing we're working on for three and a half, four years. Uh, that's, that's fairly technical, and it's, there's cardboard animations and graphics, and it's all done through a camera, and we all watch the screen. So I'm doing two shows today, and one of which will be highly technical and a lot of stuff. And uh, that, that, that's the film school? The film school, yeah. yeah. Oh, the final. Uh, FYLM. So it differentiates the film in that it's not a film, it's a live film. Yeah. There's not a word for that. I suppose live film, but I've shorted it. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I don't know. If what? I, I don't know. Are you, are, you, are you doing that alone or have you got some Guests, on? with guests. Yes. Well, uh, guitar's come up for 10 days, but mainly every, every day there will be two guests. I've been doing it uh, at the Soho Theatre on Mondays once a month. Brilliant. Soho uh, Theatre? Soho Theatre uh, once a month, Mondays. Uh, you know, well, almost everyone's saying to it like a duck to water. It's fairly obvious, talk through a camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that yeah. works. Of course it works. Uh, why doesn't anyone else do it? That's my thought. Why um, wouldn't it work? Yeah, why wouldn't it? Well, when I first started doing it, I didn't think it would. I thought it would take me a year to learn. I was amazed how easy it was. Mm. But I still, I still think there's more to learn. Uh, and I've uh, just technically gone through lots of different uh, variations, which are perhaps unstable. But there you go. You've got to, you've got to pursue the route you're on. Indeed. Until you decide to give up. Um, Ed Edinburgh, you've done Edinburgh several times. 28 times. No. Must be. 28 times. So you must, you must love Edinburgh. No, you must I have nothing to compare it to. <laughs> <laughs> always there. <laughs> what else happens in August? What? Well, what it's pretty what? exhausting. A lot of people like do a show, then take a break for a year, and then do another show. Yeah, uh, I, I've just always gone. Except one year, I didn't. It's like the rhythm of my year, it's like the beginning and the end of the year, it's a cycle. And so is, it, is it quite important, is it where you cut your teeth? Because, you know, at Mimo we've got a lot of um, up-and-coming breaking acts and, you know, it's pretty essential to do Edinburgh. I don't think it's essential. I mean, where, where, where did you learn I don't, I, I don't think trade? it's I, Well, Edinburgh, but I don't think it's essential to do Edinburgh, per se. I think uh, it's essential to clock up the hours, well, but, uh, rather than going on a course, I don't know. So, I mean, Edinburgh's uh, increasingly expensive, and uh, you can't do right. it without money behind you. But, well, if you want somewhere cheap, uh, try camping at Morton Hall. Yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, really nice. And the sort of whole Europe's there. It's amazing. There's a campsite, a beautiful campsite. Right. The only thing is, right next to the um, crematorium. <laughs> don't, don't turn in late at night. Anyway, uh, it, it might be the end. The, um, but, uh, yeah, so there's. There's that, it's like Glastonbury, Glastonbury, and so forth. Yeah. No, what's important is to clock up the hours, I think, uh, of, of performing. So, uh, start your own club. I love this stage of a, uh, of a show. What happens, by the end of August, it's kind of, that's what it is. But a previous stage is, uh, is, some, is some stuff I've written, here's some things I can do. You, you, I start with a script, I try, and, I do, try and go all through all those things, one at a time. Some things get dropped off, and you think, ah, I wanted to do that, and they bring it in the next time, and it's just a mess, it's just a complete yeah. mess. That's quite exciting. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's still kind of in flux. Absolutely. I hope to say like that for as long as possible. Are openings difficult? Do you still find them difficult? I've got a lot of After 30 years. After his, uh, no, I love openings. This one, it never went as well as I hoped it would, but I did it for a whole month in Edinburgh, which was simply this to come on in a, uh, a huge paper bag. I made out of um, uh, what's it? backing paper for wallpaper, the cheapest paper you can get. Anyway, you just make these huge bags and come on and you go, get the audience go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then <laughs> and eventually, uh, and towards the end of the month, Chris Cooper, uh, uh, just come on with a water spray and spray it on my <laughs> I went to a bunch of work and they said I couldn't do it. <laughs> I just think that's a, a Everybody lovely. must have loved that. A round of applause for that. Yeah, they didn't love it as much as I did, as a, in, in retrospect. Now, um, 
you don't shy away from the big subjects, politics, philosophy, religion. You do shy away. I don't. I don't. Sorry. <laughs> you don't. Um, shy. What are the things that really wind you up at the moment? What to, apart from David Cameron? Um, right now, okay, uh, having just seen, things. having just seen, Omid, the film produced by Omid Jalili, uh, uh, directed and produced by Amir Amir. I, I can't remember the last syllable of his name, but uh, Amir Amir. Uh, uh, Calling that, uh, but um, I only saw the first half of it, probably, uh, depending on the length. But uh, that I mean tears. Uh, and it's partly because I remember those times. Um, about uh, what really was it was uh, Tony Blair being a war criminal and uh, just got away with it. Yeah, he has he lied. He just walked away. He lied. <laughs> I was there on that march, by the way. Right. I was there. And it was the day democracy died, <laughs> apart from many other things. I said that on Newsnight. Did you? Yeah. And oh. the only person oh, I did a joke about that, and I, I was asked about it, uh, by um, Tony. Um, Tony Paxman, it was a Jeremy Paxman. <laughs> yes. We could have just called Tony. <laughs> He's a bit anyway, of Tony. Yeah. He laughed. 